You know what's unbelievable? I I can't understand it. I, I can't understand it. I just made this comment a minute ago. And can you imagine that the only reason why this coronavirus is even happening in the first place and the only reason why everything falls apart is because people don't want to repent? Can you, can you imagine? Can you imagine the only reason why this stuff is happening is because people don't want to repent of sin? That's all it is. That's all it is. But that's too late. I mean, it's irrelevant now. We've gone beyond the point of return, and I do not even care. I mean, it kind of it kind of sucks, but that uh, you know, what can you say when the majority of Christians are are are, are practicing and preaching their falsehoods to the point where um, who's on God's side anymore? There's only very few. I mean, when I uh, when I say few, I mean there. Like I said, it could be. 10 million people. All I know is that the majority of the church all the way around the world. I mean, could you imagine? I mean, I, I couldn't I couldn't want to ever sit here and say that I was a Baptist or a Catholic or even have any part of those those organizations because I know who believes in once saved and I know who's acting like that they are once saved just from the way they live their life. All because people don't want to repent. They don't want to they don't want to turn to God, which is the main benefactor of the whole repentance in the first place, is turning to God. But you still have to repent of wickedness, which is sin. So all this is happening because people don't want to do that. I mean I'm guilty of it. But it's not just me. It's all of us as a whole. That's the only reason why this stuff's happening. It's the only reason why this will all fall apart in front of everybody's face. Yep. I mean, there are too many people out here. I made this comment to someone today. Uh, this person said, uh, you know what? It's not even worth talking about. It's not even worth talking about. All these people out here, the majority of people that sit here and say, God bless America, like I sit here and said, doesn't mean it doesn't mean anything. I can sit here and say something about God every day, and if it and if I don't show it, it doesn't mean anything. That's all it is. That's all it is. I don't care what anybody says. Jonathan Kahn, I'll say it again, in a video that I that I sit here and I even got written down. I think I've still got it written down. If you want to watch it, if you want to watch this video, I mean, a lot of y'all out there, a lot of people would never give Jonathan Kahn any credit in the world as being a man of God, and I know he is. Uh, he said, Israel went through this back years back. I don't know how many years. I mean, I really don't even know when... That's it's totally irrelevant. Totally irrelevant. We're in the same position, and it's going to hit back in Israel eventually one day too. I'll tell you that right now. The person that makes the video is goes by God's message. Jonathan Kahn, February 14, 2020. New message. America two stage. Um, new message. America two stage of judgment. Oh no, okay. God's message. Jonathan Kahn, February 14, 2020. New message two stage of judgment on America. Watch the video. He said the same thing Israel went through. See, let me tell you this. I just got done watching a video. I think it was last night or the night before. I know exactly how God blessed America. 1492. When Columbus came to America, Columbus was Jewish. He escaped persecution. God blessed America around that time. And uh, 
when America goes down the same path that Israel did once before, it's good but it's good riddance. It's good riddance, America. Mystery Babylon will fall. And uh so watch his video. Watch that video and listen to what he says. Jonathan Kahn, February 14, 2020. New message, two stage of judgment on America. And judgment, I mean, eventually God will pour his wrath upon this world. And I hope people are on the right side. I hope people are on God's side. I, I hope that uh, you're either on God's side or you're not. Plain and simple. And you're in sin, you're not on God's side. You're not. I promise you, you're picking the wrong God. I don't care what anybody says. I sit here and made two beautiful videos today. Before this, sitting here using scriptures that are in the Bible. You know, a lot of times I sit here and say scriptures, but I don't know them word for word. But I do have, I do have, uh, I can rightly divide them. I can't rightly divide every scripture. It's not the way it's going to work. No one's ever going to know the whole entire Bible except for him and his only begotten son. That's it. And the Holy Spirit. Those are the only, those are the only one that can rightly divide the whole entire word of God and know it like it is if it's nothing. People out here, some people got some, some people don't. I mean, just like this woman said the other day, there are some people out here that got that got certain messages from God and, and in one area, and certain people got messages from God in another area. I, I I don't know why God made me a watchman, and then to also now and to use scripture against people. I'm telling you, there never was a once saved, never was, and there are too many people out here living the life of a once saved. Catholics don't believe in once saved, but they live it. They literally live it. And there are Baptists out here that don't believe in once saved, but there are too many are that do. And if and then you can look at the other spectrum of uh, uh, Christians out here like... Uh, Seven Day Adventists. I guarantee you, some of them do something that's wrong. And there are other Christians and other organizations. I mean, I remember uh, when I was driving through Texas one day, I was listening to this one denomination, and they didn't think that you had the right, that we all had the right to the Holy Spirit. That we had to go through one certain we that we had to go through certain people in the church to have to have um, the Holy Spirit. Uh, ah, man, I don't know how to explain it. And anybody can receive the Holy Spirit. And anybody can live for God. Anybody. And we got people out here making it sound like there's something special about certain people, like an elder in a church. You think the Bible doesn't call certain people in the Bible, whether it be elders or people going to the to church fools for 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 no reason? Man, like I said, I've been nothing but a fool, nothing but a fool. I may know the truth. I may know how I'm supposed to live my life. I don't really care about knowing all about the faith and grace and the works and all that. All I know right now is that I'm going to live my life either for God or for myself. And for myself, I don't win that way. I win living for God. That's how I win. In the end, that's how I win. And if I'm not living for God, it don't make no difference. I'm like everyone else to the lake of fire who isn't. 
So I'm wondering if anybody's ever out, if, if, if people are out there are ever going to repent. That's the only reason why this is all falling apart on everyone. I'm telling you this right now. The reason why the Bible is just happening like it ain't nothing, it's because people do not want to repent. There have been people for the last 20 years that have come out of the woodwork and have had a message from God with them saying that God is telling them to repent. Where do you think we're at? Beyond the point of return. <laughs> I'm part of the blame and you are too.